Ok Tiếp Nhiệm vụ hôm nay là Take the medicine to the century Pick something up. Vải chỉ có mười vàng thôi sao? Finish preparing the gel. Is that a monolith? I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. And 
that'll do it. Hey. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. I know. Coin ta. Okay. Wow. See? I was stuck right. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I've brought medicine. What's happening? We can do not stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And we can help dispatch the hellhounds. And yet, I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger hellion born of powerful malevolence. You can tell because the humans don't see it. <coughs> do 
didn't tell me you're gonna fight it. It looks like a dragon to me. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. That Hellion is called a Drake. It's a younger form. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait, don't, Alicia. Hold on. Oh shit! Look out. Oh, crap! Hey, <laughs> Roy. <laughs> That was close. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Huh. Again? Well, we gotta do something. Edna, you said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the Drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow and steady wins the race, Edna. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. Time to begin operations, slow and steady. Guess that's all the hellhounds in town. The epidemic here should settle at least a little bit now. Yeah, but only momentarily. It was not done in vain. The malevolence has subsided considerably. Shall I help you carry those? No, I'm just fine. A history of Monmouth culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Oh, then all the more reason I should be help. It's fine. It's a classified location. Don't tell anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. You think so? Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library.
What the hell? Oh, camera ma. I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kind of funny to bury books in a graveyard. I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. All right. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? <sighs> it was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Malevolence! We're taking these back. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Nafe for me? <sighs> Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down, to be brought to justice. Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. We going in? So, are you scared of ghosts too? Would you like me to hold your hand? It's not like that. You understand, don't you, Saray? I'm sensing a huge domain. There's definitely a strong hellion here. It could be hiding anywhere in the museum. We better canvas the entire area. See what I did there? Canvas is a fabric used as a painting service and... Please stop. Oh wow, I just got it. See, it was just enough explaining. It wants us to come in. Looks like it. So there's no Guardian Seraph here either. Looks like it. I don't want to assume that the entire world is like this, but... I think there are quite a lot of Seraphim who are less than fond of humans. Can it really be that hard for humans and Seraphim to coexist peacefully again? Do you really think that could happen? Must be nice living in a fantasy world. 
It isn't necessarily just a fantasy. But look at the reality. I understand that it may <clears throat> be difficult to achieve, sure. But in reality, there was a time like that in the past. There are records in the ruins and in the celestial record. When is this past you're referring to? Long, long ago. But even now, there are seraphim like you, Edna. Huh? And we figured out that we could bring back the blessing as well. Yep. I think this is a step towards coexistence with the seraphim and humans. I'll be counting on you, Edna. Selfish as ever. That's why I can't stand humans. Get used to it. Selfish types everywhere. Jeez. There you go. Now eat up before it melts. Oh, a fruit frappe. The arrangement is beautiful. Just what I'd expect from a water, Sarah. Something like this would be beyond me. But Lila, you make sweets too, right? Well, yes. I'm good at baking, but don't work well with cold things. Oh, I see. So Lila is good with baking because she's a seraph of fire, and Miklio is good with cool sweets because he's a seraph of water. Even seraphim have strong points and weak points. It's true. I'm really no good at baking. I'll say, that one time when you tried to cook boar meat, you turned the heat up way too high and burnt it black as coal. We were both little kids then. And besides, it only happened because you didn't make the fire... Uh, guys, talking is fine and all, but... If you don't eat, it's going to melt. Oh, oh shoot! shoot! 